So I'm out on my um, oldest bike with my heaviest wheels in the pouring rain. I haven't got a clue about my average speed. Couldn't tell you exactly how many miles I've been. Couldn't tell you what my average heart rate is. Couldn't tell you my average power or anything. And I am loving it. Hello again, YouTube. Well, quick vlog about my ride this morning, um, which was a little bit unconventional in that I took the bike and I left the Garmin at home. Now, when I say I left the Garmin at home, I left the Edge head unit at home and the good old 745 was telling me no more than the time. For disclosure, I did have an HRM Pro heart rate belt on because it was a bit of a uh, spur of the moment decision to uh, take the head unit off and uh, not set that thing tracking. And I was already wearing the heart rate belt, so all it did was track my heart rate. Of course, it didn't track any GPS data, so it didn't tell me how fast I was going. It didn't tell me my... Um, average power or any of that other stuff that I usually fret over. Another driver for doing this is kind of how I've been looking at my numbers just recently. Now, as you'll know from the previous vlogs, the numbers are improving. But to me, it's not all just about the numbers. It's about making sure I'm enjoying what I'm doing as well. And as much as the numbers are a really good way to improve, I think sometimes they can get in the way of your enjoyment. So, um, yeah, I, made, I just made the call that, you know what, today I'm going to go out and I'm going to remind myself why I ride a bike. Now, setting out was a little bit weird because... Um, I've got that ritual. I guess we've all got a bit of a ritual. You know, you, you start the head unit, you calibrate your power meter, you get to the end of the road, you make sure you've got GPS, you press start, you get on the right data screen, you make sure all your smart lights and radar are connected up and stuff like that. So all of my rituals were gone. I literally just got on the bike and rode. And I'll be honest, it probably took me about five miles before I stopped looking down for a head unit, looking down for my heart rate or looking down at, you know, coming out this corner, I can normally get about 500 watts sitting down, you know. So it, it was a, a totally alien experience for the first five miles. But you know what, when I started to settle back into it, it really did remind me of why I ride bikes. And I do instinctively keep looking down at my, um, looking down for a head unit to see what my numbers are, to see what my heart rate is and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, long before we had Garmin's, we had this. The old head is pretty good at telling you um, how well you're doing. Um, and for me, just coming out this morning and doing this without any tracking has been uh, kind of liberating. So I'm going to get on with it. So anyway, let me talk about a bit more of the background on this. now. One of the kind of drivers, I guess, for this was, like I said, the way that I've been looking at my numbers. And one of the numbers that's kind of crept to the top of my list of things that I look at is the Garmin body battery, um, which I get using the 745 with the enhanced Garmin Connect app. And now, if you look at Garmin's description of body battery, I think it's the way that they calculate it is it's based on your heart rate variability. It's based on your stress, it's based on your sleep, and it's based on your exercise. And I suppose if you added diet into the mix, that handful of things is basically, to me, all of the cornerstones of good health. So for somebody who's getting back into being fit or for somebody who's not fit who wants to be fit to me it's kind of a two-stage process get yourself healthy and then use good health as a launch pad for good fitness so you know that's kind of where i am and the body battery is really good at telling me when i should go for it and when i should back off and even though we've had a week off of work, I've had quite a heavy week. And, you know, I got to this morning, I looked at the body battery and the body battery was saying, you know, 
oh, I don't think you should be doing this today. So it made absolute sense that what I did was I just went out to enjoy the ride rather than going out and beating myself up for a set of numbers that I knew would probably ruin my day somehow. So anyhow, after I'd settled into it and began enjoying the ride a little bit more, um, it really did kind of remind me why I ride bikes. And, you, you know, I'm going to go all misty-eyed here on you and sort of cast my mind back. But when I think back, when I was a teenager, me and my mates would go out on a Saturday. I had an old steel-framed thing that my brother built for me. Um, Three-speed, steel-framed, flat handlebars. And um, he put it together literally out of scrap parts. God only knows where he got them from. Um, but this thing weighed a ton. It was as clunky as hell. But I'd ride miles on it on a Saturday with my mates. Now, those were the days where, you know, GPS hadn't even been thought of, or if it was thought of, it was some weird specification in a government defense contract that nobody knew anything about. Um, so you'd literally go out, you'd go where the road took you, you'd shoot the breeze, you'd have a laugh, you'd get back at the end of the day, and it was all cool. You'd had a bike ride, and that's what it was. And you know, I felt shades of that coming back this morning when I was just out riding my bike and enjoying my bike. Uh, it really did remind me why I do it. And I think for me, one of the things that I've taken away from this morning is that, you know, however focused you are, it doesn't hurt once in a while to just do something for yourself that reminds yourself why you're doing this thing. And I've made it a resolution after this morning that going forward, I'm going to give myself at least one ride every month where I just go out without any tracking and I just enjoy the ride. Now, to prove how much I was enjoying the ride, halfway in, this happened. If I'd have been out on a focused training ride when the heavens opened, I always kind of ride a little bit slower on a wet road. So, you, you know, there'd have been a little voice in the back of my head saying, ah, you're not going to get your numbers, you're not going to make your numbers, you're not going to be fast enough, you're not going to be able to put enough power down and stuff like that. Whereas this morning, you know, all I did was plot up somewhere, watch the rain for a little bit, decided that I should probably man up and just start riding, got back out, started riding in some very warm rain, and thoroughly enjoyed it. So anyway, that's um, a short vlog and a little bit unconventional. And I know that there will be divided opinion on this because, you know, I, don't get me wrong, I do completely understand the value of the data and the metrics. And don't get me wrong, I'm a real sort of, uh, I wouldn't say slave to the data, but I do enjoy my data. I do enjoy watching the numbers improve and stuff like that. But like I say, you know, trust me on this one, YouTube, just give it a go. Once in a while, just go out, don't try track anything, just ride and enjoy it um, and see what you get out of it. Anyway, thanks for watching this one, YouTube. Um, I'm back to work tomorrow, so you'll be happy to know that next week's vlog will be a little bit more conventional. Um, have a great week and I will catch you in the next one.